So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for coming to this session. Uh, uh, so <laughs> the topic today is uh, generating distributed plan for uh, PostgreSQL. So uh, and uh, I'm Richard and I'm from Pivotal. So before get, getting started, I'd like to introduce myself a little bit. Uh, I'm Richard. Uh, uh, my name is Richard uh, Fungo by a uh, Chinese name, and I'm from Beijing, China. And uh, uh, now I'm working at Pivotal on Greenplum, including uh, merging new PG release, uh, releases into Greenplum, and uh, working on the MPP part of the Greenplum, as well as support for um, customer issues. Also, I uh, work on Postgre uh, uh, projects, uh, including the uh, parallel grouping sets. So uh, this is the agenda of my talk. Uh, at first, uh, we will introduce uh, what the arch architecture looks like when PostgreSQL meets uh, MPP. And then the second part is about the distributed plan for scan, join, and uh, aggregation. And at last, I will make a uh, comparison with, uh, between the distributed plan in Greenplum and, and the parallel query in current PostgreSQL. Okay, uh, any questions so far? Yeah, good. Okay, uh, so uh, MPP, uh, MPP short for massively uh, parallel processing or refers to a system with two or more processors that can cooperate to carry out an operation. And each, opera each processor with its own memory uh, operating system or uh, uh, disks. And uh, uh, Greenplum is approximately equal to uh, PostgreSQL plus in uh, MPP. And the, uh, currently, the Greenplum master is uh, based on PostgreSQL 9.4. And we are still working on merging new PG releases uh, into Greenplum. And in this uh, MPP architecture, uh, there are uh, several PostgreSQL instances that uh, contain uh, user-defined uh, tables and their indexes. And these, uh, these uh, instances are called segments. And each segment contains a distinct portion of the user data. And there is another uh, one PG instance to generate plan, uh, coordinate its work with all the segments called master. And uh, uh, master contains no user data. Okay, uh, any questions so far? OK. Um, so user data are distributed among uh, different segments, and usually there are two uh, policies for the distribution, uh, hash distribution and random distribution. Uh, hash distribution uh, means uh, tuples are distributed based on um, uh, values of a distribution key. Usually the distribution key is one or more columns uh, of the table. And for random distribution, it means uh, tables are distributed to uh, all the segments in a, round, a robin way to uh, randomly. So uh, on the right, there is an example um, of the hash distribution. So uh, suppose you have a, a table, and the a complete table contains nine uh, tuples. And after distributed by column C1, uh, to three segments, the uh, layout may look like this. Uh, so each each segment contains uh, three tuples. And please note that uh, each uh, segment contains a distinct portion of the uh, complete table. So uh, in the following talk, I will use uh, these two tables as uh, example, uh, table uh, T1 and T2 and both uh, with three columns, uh, column C1, C2, and C3, and both are distrib uh, hash distributed by the first column, C1. Okay, um, okay, uh, distributed plan for scan. Uh, it is uh, quite straightforward to generate a uh, distributed uh, plan for scan uh, because uh, the data has already been distributed on different segments. So what we need to do is just uh, each segment performs a local scan, and the master runs together and outputs the, uh, the final results. 
uh, so the plan is uh, look like there is a, a gas node on top of the scan node. And uh, the, gas node, the gas node will have uh, exactly one child plan, and uh, uh, which is the uh, uh, portion of the plan that will be executed in parallel on different segments. Okay, uh, any questions so far? Okay. Uh, so our distributed plan for join. Um, to perform a join, the, uh, the matching rows must be located uh, together on the same segments. Uh, if, if not, we, the data needs to be rooted among the segments before performing local joins. And usually there are uh, uh, two ways to, uh, to uh, for the data movements. Uh, the first way is uh, redistribution. Redistribute uh, means uh, each segment rehashes the uh, uh, data and sends the rows to the uh, pro, um, pro <coughs> parameter segments according to the hash key. And another way is broadcast, uh, means each segment uh, sends its own individual rows to all other segments. So each segment will have a complete local copy of the whole table. And then after the data movements, each segment can perform the join locally uh, in parallel. And the last step is uh, master run together and output the complete results. Uh, so uh, I remember in the, uh, uh, in Bruce talk in the morning, so I asked the, uh, how the shard, in the sharding architecture uh, joins is, uh, is performed. And uh, here is uh, how the join is performed in GreenPlum database. Okay, uh, so uh, if we are performing echo join on the distribution key, uh, we don't need to any data movements because um, the matching rules has already been on the same segment. So we just need uh, each segment just uh, to uh, perform the local join and the master run together to output the uh, complete data. So the plan is lo looks like there is a gather uh, node on top of the join node. Okay, uh, so uh, in other case, we may need to redistribute one table. So like in uh, this query, um, we are performing, uh, we, are, we are performing echo join on column T1.C1 and T2.C2. Okay, for table two, because column C2 is not the distribution, distribution key, its value scatters um, every segment randomly so we cannot just perform a local join directly as in the previous case. Uh, so as a result, a redistribution a node needs to be added uh, for a table T2 according to the hash value of uh, column C2. And then after uh, the redistributor, it will become the same case as the previous one, and uh, uh, then each segment just performs the local joins. And at last, the master runs together to, for uh, the complete results. Okay, uh, sometimes we need to redistribute the both sides of the join. Like in this query, we are performing, oh, sorry. Uh, we are performing echo join uh, on T1.C2 and T2.C2 because uh, both the, uh, neither of the two columns are distribution case, so their value scatters um, each segment randomly. And to perform a uh, local join, we need to redistribute them first. And then it will become the same case with the first case. Each segment just performs local join and must perform together. Uh, as an alternative, we uh, can use broadcast for data movements. So uh, for the same query, uh, we we are broadcasting table T2, and then each segment will have a complete local copy of the table. So uh, then afterwards, each segment can perform the local joins. And at the last, the ma uh, master runs together. And whether we are choosing a redistribution or um, broadcast is uh, determined by the costs. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Okay, uh, 
just now we talked about the echo joins. So for now, echo join, uh, we can we cannot perform redistributes because by redistributes we can we have no way to uh, gather the matching rules to the same segments. We can only perform broadcast. But uh, but we need to be very careful um, with broadcast because in uh, the case of out joins broadcasting the non number side uh, would cause some problems because uh, it may cause the out join to emit some non extend non extended rows that should not have been uh, formed. Okay, uh, now I'll distribute the plan for aggregates. Uh, I'd like to divide this part into two, uh, aggregates without group and aggregate with group. So the main difference is uh, whether the final aggregation can be performed in parallel on different segments. Uh, for uh, aggregation without group, the final aggregation can be only performed by one PG instance because there is only one group, right? So uh, while for aggregation with group, uh, the final ag aggregation for different groups can be performed on different segments, so in parallel. Okay, uh, let's focus on aggregation without group first. Uh, similarly, uh, for as a first step, we uh, the first step is to check uh, whether we need to move data among the segments. And uh, uh, in the case of aggregation with distinct, uh, tuples with the same value of the distinct columns need to be uh, located on the same segment so that we can perform the uh, deduplic uh, de duplication, right? And so, uh, and if, uh, if, if not, the data needs to be redistributed first. And after the data movements, uh, the uh, aggregation is performed in, in two stages. The first stage is performed on uh, each segment by uh, running the trans function and uh, skipping the final function. So produces a partial re result on each segment. And then uh, master gathers the partial results from all segments and performs the second stage. And in the second stage, master is running combined function instead of a trans function to merge the partial results and running the final function to calculate the final uh, aggregation results. So this is how the two stage is uh, performed. Okay, uh, so if there is no distinct, we don't need to uh, uh, move data at the first step. Or <coughs> uh, if there is distinct only on the distribution KV, uh, we don't need to redistribute the data uh, either because, uh, because the tuples with the same value of the distinct column has already been uh, located on the same <coughs> segment. So uh, the plan looks like a uh, two-stage aggregation with a gather node between them. Okay, uh, any questions so far? Okay, we will move on. So, uh, if there is distinct on non-distribution case, then we need to redistribute the data first uh, in order to gather the, uh, gather the tuple with the same values of the distinct column to the same segments. Uh, to perform the data deduplication. So the plan uh, looks like, uh, the plan is there a uh, two stage aggregation, but uh, before the first aggregate, we have a redistribute uh, nodes for data movements. Okay, uh, then uh, uh, let's focus on aggregation with group. Um, for aggregation with group, the general idea is to uh, gather the gather tuples belong, belonging to the same group to the same segments uh, for aggregation. And uh, meanwhile, we distribute the different groups to different segments for parallelism. Okay, uh, I'd like to divide this part into three cases uh, depending on 
uh, whether they are grouping by distribu distribution key and whether they are is distinct. So uh, case one is they are grouping by distinct distinction key, uh, distribution key, and uh, case two is they are grouping by non-distribution key and there is no distinct. And case three is uh, they are grouping by non-distribution key and there is uh, distinct. Uh, okay, uh, case one, uh, group by uh, distribution key. Okay, uh, if we are grouping by distribution key, uh, tuples belonging to the same group has already been on the same segment, right? So we don't need any data move movement before, uh, before the local aggregation. So what we need to do is each segment performs local aggregation and they must run together and output the complete results. So uh, the plan looks like uh, there is a gather node on top of the aggregation node. So any questions so far? Uh, so can the same segment exist on multiple nodes? And do you have to then, so do you specify which segment you want results from whenever there's a query, or how, do, how is that managed in this process? Uh, you mean the same segment contains multiple uh, nodes? Or? Uh, so in order to do replication of the data, do you have the segments also, segment one, which is over here, is also on node three, and like, so if you wanted to do replicas, you'd have, in essence, No. Yeah, uh, currently we, we are sup supposing that each segment distinct, uh, contains a distinct portion of the data. Yeah. But we do uh, have a replicate table uh, now in Green Plum, but this is not in our discussion today. So, uh, uh, any more question so far? Okay, uh, I will move on. So uh, case two, uh, case two is a uh, group by non-distribution key, and there is no distinct. Uh, since we have since we have a way to uh, move data among the segments, so uh, we can always can transform the uh, group by non-distribution key to uh, become group by distribution key by a redistributed node, right? So a simple way to perform case two is uh, first. Each segment redistributes the tuples according to the group key, and then it would become the case of grouping by distribution key, the same as case one. So then uh, each, each segment performs the local aggregation and master runs together. Yeah, but uh, but uh, there is a problem with this plan because uh, since we need to redistribute all the data at the, the first step, so it may be not the cheapest one because redistribution a whole table is is a is with a very very high cost. Okay, uh, so we have another plan uh, for case two. Uh, before before redistributing the whole data, we first perform a local aggregation first uh, by each se by each segment. And uh, uh, in this aggregation, each segment runs trans function and uh, skipping the uh, final function. So uh, produces uh, a partial res result for each group that exists on that segment. And uh, then each segment redistributes the partial results according to group K. So after this uh, step of redistribution, the same group would be gathered on the same segment. Okay, uh, the next step would be uh, each segment performs another local aggregation by uh, running combined function and a final function. So the combined function would merge, merge the partial results for each group, and the final function would uh, calculate the final aggregation value for each group. Okay, and uh, the last step would be master run together to, for outputs. Uh, 
uh, yeah, it's uh, the main difference may be the uh, cost of the redistribution because uh, uh, in the first plan we need to redistribute the whole table. So and in this plan we just redistribute the partial results. And usually the number of the partial re results is much smaller than the number of the whole data, right? Because we before the redistribution we have performed a local aggregation first. And this will uh, reduce the cost of the uh, redistribution. So usually this plan will have a cheaper cost. Uh, any more question? Okay. Okay, uh, this is a plan. So um, basically this is a two-step aggregation uh, with the redistribution <coughs> nodes uh, between them. And the please know that uh, both of the two stages of aggregation are performed um, in parallel on different uh, uh, segments. And uh, this is some um, different from the parallel aggregation uh, currently in uh, PostgreSQL because in PostgreSQL, the second aggregation is performed by the leader only. It's not uh, in parallel, right? Uh, here I have an example for uh, this plan. And uh, uh, with two segments, uh, the upper is uh, segment one and the lower is segment two. And uh, for the query, we are uh, performing agri uh, average on column C3 and grouping by column C2. Okay, uh, so step, step one is uh, each segment performs a local aggreg aggregation by running the trans function and uh, produces a partial re result for each group, for group 10 and group 20 on each segment. Uh, this is a local ag aggregation without uh, redistri redistributing any data. And then the step two is uh, we, redistribute, we redistribute the partial results according to the group key. So uh, group, group 10 would be gathered on segment one, uh, segment one yes. And uh, um, group, group 20 would be gathered on segment two. So the next step would be uh, each segment performs another uh, local aggregation um, by running combined function and uh, final function. So uh, this is how we get the final result for each group. And uh, the last step would be master run together, which is omitted here. Okay. Um, Uh, actually, it's a worker that not know that information. It's uh, just uh, performs the local aggregation according to its local data. Right. Yeah. And then what do you do with groups? Uh, doing the, the group? Yeah, the bottom one sends in groups 10, the top one. Uh, yeah. Uh, the bottom one. How do they know to do that? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, the redistribute, uh, redistribute node uh, would uh, rehash the data according to the group key, and then send the uh, send the partial results to a pro uh, prior segments, uh, such as uh, maybe the redistribute node would uh, uh, calculate that uh, group ten would be uh, distributed to segment one, and uh, uh, group twenty would be redistributed to uh, segment two. So if we have a third segment. A uh, third group and that group will be uh, redistributed to one of the segments. Yeah, uh, that's how it works. So, any more question? Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, case two, case uh, case three, case three is a little more complex. Uh, is uh, grouping by non-distribution key and uh, there is distinct. Okay, uh, similarly, we can always uh, transform a, non a group by non-distribution key to uh, become a group by distribution key. Uh, if each segment redistributes the top of the first by according to the group key, and uh, then it would become the same same case with case one. So then each, seg each segment can perform the local aggregation and must run together. 
But as uh, in the case of this plan has uh, caused a problem because we need to redistribute the whole data at first, so it will have a very high cost. And another way to perform case three is uh, first, uh, each segment redistributes the tuples according to aggregate k. So after this step of redistribution, the tuples with the same value of the ag aggregate k would be gathered on the same segments so that we can perform data dedu deduplication right, for distinct. And then step two is each segment performs the local aggregation in parallel by running a transfunction and uh, produces a partial result for each group on that segment. And also uh, the data deduplication is performed in this step. And then uh, each segment can re redistribute the partial results according to group K. So the, the same group would be gathered on the same segment and then each segment can perform another local aggregation and uh, by running combined function and uh, final function. So uh, then we will get the final aggregate value for each group. And uh, uh, the last step would be master run together. Does, okay. does that actually work out faster practice? Because both of them start off by redistributing. Yes, yes. So this plan has the same problem as the first plan, yeah. It also has a very high cost because uh, redistributes. Okay. Uh, actually, the image looks uh, ma ma much beautiful in my computer, but I don't know why it looks like this in the screen. So uh, the plan looks uh, is basically is a two-stage aggregation with, uh, redistrib with uh, redistribute node between them. Uh, before the first aggregation, there is uh, an additional redistribution, redistribute node, uh, which is needed for uh, data deduplication. Okay, um, any question for this plan? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So and so forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For for that query, uh, currently, uh, Green Plum would uh, use a uh, hash join. So uh, the idea is is it it's uh, generate this kind of plan for every distinct, and then it use a hash join to uh, gen to produce the the final results for every distinct. Actually, I have a, a slide for that plan, but just before the conference, I delete that slide because it's too, it's not easy to understand. But actually, I, I, I don't understand that plan too much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, the, here is a, a, an example for um, this plan. So, uh, we are performing uh, average uh, distinct column C3 and we are grouping by C2. Okay, uh, so for the first step, we redistribute the whole data uh, according to uh, C3. And so uh, tuples with the same value of C3 would be gathered on the same segment. As we can see, uh, 100 and 300 are gathered, gathered on the first segment and 200 and 400 are gathered on the second segment. So then the, the second step is each uh, segment performs a local um, aggregate with distinct. So the data de uh, deduplication is performed in this step and uh, produce a partial re result for each group, group 10 and 20 uh, on each segment. And then we do another redistribute of the partial results uh, according to the group K. So uh, group 10 will, would be gathered on the first segment and group 20 would be gathered on the second segment. 
And then after the redistribution, uh, each segment can perform another local aggregate by combined function and the final function. So then we will get the final results for each group. And uh, uh, the last step would be a master gather, a run gather, which is also omitted here. Okay, uh, any question for this plan? Okay, um, as, uh, as said just now, uh, the second plan also the second plan also has a cost issue because it also needs to redistribute the whole data at first. So we have a, a third plan for uh, this case. Um, so step one is before redistributing the whole data, uh, each segment performs a local detuplication, uh, usually via a hash aggregates uh, by the group key plus in the aggregate key. So after this step of um, deduplication, uh, the ag aggregate key would be distinct within a group locally on each segment. And then each segment can redistribute the data uh, according to a uh, group key. So the same group would be gathered on the same segment. Okay, and so uh, then each segment performs another uh, deduplication via another hash aggregate, and the, uh, um, also by the group key plus in the ag aggregate key. And after this step, uh, the aggregate key would be distinct within a group globally. So then uh, each segment can just uh, perform a local aggregation by running a traditional uh, ag aggregation, the so trans function and the final function. And uh, as the last step, is master runs together. So uh, as we can see, there is no uh, combined function involved in this plan. So it is basically a one-stage aggregation plus in two stage of data deduplications. And the, uh, this is a plan uh, looks like for uh, this method. Um, there is three uh, aggregation nodes. Uh, the first one, the second one, and the third one. And the, uh, the, first, uh, the first two aggregation nodes are actually for uh, data deduplication, and the last aggregate node is for is actually performed the aggregation. Uh, okay, uh, so we also have an example uh, for this plan uh, with the same query and with the same data. So, uh, so the first step would be uh, each segment performs uh, deduplication on C2 plus in C3. Uh, uh, actually, this is not a very good example because usually after the first de de uh, deduplication, the uh, data size would become smaller, but in this case is uh, still the same because there is no uh, duplicate table in in this table, right? Okay, uh, so then the next step would be uh, each segment redistributes uh, the data according to group K. So group 10 would be gathered on the first segment and group 20 would be gathered on the second uh, segment. Okay, and uh, then each segment performs another uh, deduplication uh, also uh, on C2 plus in C3. So after this step, uh, the aggregation key means uh, C3 would be distinct within a group globally. So then each uh, segment can just perform a, a regular uh, aggregation by trans function and final function, and then we will get the final aggregation results. Okay, uh, usually this, this uh, among the three plans, this uh, usually is the cheapest one because uh, for the redistribution, it will have a smaller uh, size to redistribute because we perform the uh, uh, deduplication first before the redistribution node. Okay. So, uh, any question for this plan? Okay. Okay. Uh, 
then I will uh, make a simple comparison with, uh, between the distributed plan in GreenPlum and the parallel query in PostgreSQL. Okay, so uh, for distributed plan in GreenPlum, uh, tuples need to be distributed in a predefined policy. And, uh, and currently there are three uh, exchange operators, uh, redistribution, broadcast, and gather. So tuples can be routed among segments while redistribution or broadcast, and the tuples can flow between segments and the master while gather. So uh, this en enables us to, uh, to perform the final aggregation in parallel because it can be performed on different segments. And uh, this is also en enables us to support parallel distinct aggregation because to perform the aggregate, we can redistribute the tuples for data deduplication. And for parallel querying in PostgreSQL, uh, tuples do, do not need to distribute well in, in advance. Uh, and there is only one uh, exchange operator named gather or gather merge. So tuples can only uh, flow between the workers and the gather. So <coughs> the final aggregation can be done by the gather only and the parallel distinct is not supported, at least currently. Yeah. People have to count sometimes if you want to do a hash table or a hash join. Oh, yes. That's a bit of a pain, but it's not strictly working. Yes, so uh, for parallel query to perform the uh, hash join, all workers contribute to build one hash table in the shared memory, right? Yes. Thanks. So, uh, any question about? Okay, uh, here I have a case study on parallel aggregation. Okay, uh, so for, the, for st the step one is almost the same. Uh, for distributed plan in green plum, each segment from the aggregation step producing a partial results for each group that exists on that segments. And for parallel query in PostgreSQL, uh, each worker performs an aggregation step producing a partial results uh, for each group of which that worker is aware. So uh, this is the first stage and uh, uh, both are performed in parallel. And then for uh, the, for step two, uh, in green plum, the partial results are redistributed among segments by the group key. So after the second step, the partial re results are also distributed, distributed on different segments. While in uh, PostgreSQL, the partial results are transferred to leader while gather or gather merge. So it will be gathered on one PG, uh, one, uh, um, uh, one process. Okay, uh, then uh, for step three, uh, in green plum, uh, each segment can uh, re aggregate the results, producing the final results for uh, each group. And uh, uh, in PostgreSQL, the leader re aggregates the results across all workers uh, in order to produce the uh, final uh, results. Uh, this is the second stage of the ag aggregation, and in Green Plum, it is performed in parallel on different segments, and in PostgreSQL, it is performed by the leader only. And uh, in Green Plum, there is an additional uh, step because uh, the master needs to uh, gather the final results. So as we can see, in uh, Green Plum, the master is uh, does not do much work and uh, uh, most of the work are distributed among uh, segments, so usually it will have a uh, uh, higher performance. Okay, uh, so I think that's all for my talk. And uh, yeah, I copied this idea from uh, a slide of Amit, I think, uh, when he uh, is talking about the parallel query, and I uh, transferred that parallel plan to a distributed plan in Green Plum. So, thank you. Okay, uh, so, uh